So recently Capcom put out the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. This is a number of old school arcade games as featuring Marvel and Capcom characters. People are really excited about this one and my situation is a bit weird because I guess you can call me one of the Neo OGs. I am someone who started playing fighting games like for real for real playing fighting games uh, when Street Fighter 4 first came out. Actually a little bit before that was Soul Calibur 4. So I never really played any of these games. I played Marvel vs. Capcom 2 super casually probably the playstation 2 version played it for like 10 minutes one arcade mode playthrough and that's about it so it was interesting for me to check out this collection and uh i'm sorry if you look like used to my guides and tutorials and stuff that's like super in-depth uh, you're not gonna find it here but you will find the experience of someone who knows fighting games at least to a decent level and their first experience with these old games so whenever started i went to marvel vs capcom 2 right because this is a game that i at least i had some familiarity with and all i know is this right i used to play cable i press his heavy punch he does a gunshot press that three four times cancel into his beam thing into the beam super and then i got cyclops because he also got another beam super and then spider-man to complete the uh, delayed hyper combo right and that's about, <laughs> that's about it that is my knowledge and uh then um I watched some players who play Cyclops and I know like he got like an anti-air uh, uppercut assist and that seems pretty good. So it's like very very scrubby, very bare bones gameplay. So I tried to play out the game a little bit and uh, unfortunately in the current state of the game it takes quite some time to find matches which it's it's not that ideal and even when you look through the lobbies most of the time you will just find like marvel vs capcom 2 lobbies so i played the game a little bit i absolutely got destroyed obviously because marvel vs capcom 2 is the game that's gonna be played the most out of this collection and uh like a lot of players who, who are playing it are people who got experiences probably pretty good right and i don't know stuff so got destroyed and i figured okay I mean, let's stick with it a little bit, stuck with it a bit, started getting some wins here and there, and I was like, all right, all right, I want to start this proper, I want to take a look back at when uh, all of this started, so I checked out the X-Men Children of the Atom game. Now, Iceman is my favorite X-Men, which is, is kind of weird, but when I checked out the game, I was like immediately drawn to Psylocke because of reasons and when i first started this game the first thing that i noticed is like the old game jank and <laughs> i'm sorry if this is gonna annoy some people but i'm talking about my experience as someone who have mostly played modern games trying out these older games like for example within minutes i noticed like like my heavy bunch just doesn't hit wolverine apparently like it goes over his head uh dude is way too short uh it seems like when you hit someone out of a combo like they don't get knocked down to the ground so everyone gets like a reset so the game is very very mashy like even the ai would just mash. like he would hit the ai and then they would immediately throw you which or like hit you which was uh, kind of a little bit weird uh the game uh it seems to me like it was a magic series game uh that's what i figured at least because of it's being like a product of the time but there's like this ability to look at the marquee card which is like what they had with uh, arcade machines and apparently it was like only psylocke so i'm not sure if the entire game had magic series i tried wolverine and it doesn't appear to be the case so is this more of like a street fighter game I i'm not really sure but i tried out psylocke a little bit and i was like all right i, I want to figure things out try to play versus the ai i got wolverine the first match and he absolutely decimated me and i tried a little bit more and more and more trying to figure stuff out until i was like huh like this is an older game so let me try try some of the crazier stuff so i would do stuff like jump abuse her uh, Psylocke's heavy watch because you can do it like three four times in the air and like even Kara cancel it into uh, the fireball which I started I mean you can even like super duper jump in the air and do like four five of them and then like do another jump uh, Psylocke got a triple jump like what modern game will let you do that and then we got a couple of matches online 
figured out that all of my spammy nonsense will not work against humans and I, I also started learning a little bit but we started getting wins and I started to learn like a little bit of combos how, how the game generally feels think about these games is that they're really fast unfortunately I don't think the readability is that great again probably a product of the time hit stun being so low but we managed we managed right and then I figured why not move on to the next game so recently i've been trying really hard to make my videos better and your guys feedback have been absolutely incredible you even convinced cami over there to actually grace us in these videos so thank you so much for that if you like what you have seen but you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell Enjoy the rest of your video. And I tried Marvel Super Heroes. And again, I found Psylocke. And this was probably the most pleasant experience I had uh, with this collection. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes was actually a really fun game. And this is where I started seeing like the Marvel vs. Capcom influence coming in. Uh, there is a lot of air combos. The game seems really fun. There is the gems uh, you get to activate. Kind of like the Soul Stones. All the, like the Infinity Stones from Marvel and uh combo system seemed a little bit more free-flowing i tried to play some matches at least most of the characters because they are in more like fighting games down the road like i know spider-man's moveset i know iron man's moveset captain america etc so it was like much easier to transition into and it was a lot of fun i even like started learning the style of combo from a an faq page that i found apparently written by james shen so <laughs> that was kind of fun i don't know like exactly if this is a loop is this an infinite but it was a lot of fun marvel superheroes was really really fun but unfortunately like i said the majority of the time uh, people are just playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, right? Even when you check out the lobby, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. If you're not playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, it takes very long time to get games. And then I moved over into the X-Men vs. Street Fighter game and tried to check it out a little bit. And unfortunately, I found out that it doesn't have Psylocke and Iceman. It's like I was really excited to try out the game because I heard a lot of good things about it. And I'm sure it's a great game. But now that I didn't find my characters, I wasn't feeling like that motivated. And I moved over to Marvel vs. Capcom 2 once more. So overall I will say this is something that is worth trying, especially if you're someone like me who have never played some of these older games. Uh, I, I, I really had fun checking them out and there is like this charm to them that you don't really find in many of the modern games. Now is it something that I'm gonna stick with and try to get good? Probably not because also these aren't like my exact type of games, but I'm very glad that I got the experience. If you're someone who never got into modern Marvel never really tried it honestly my honest thoughts would be to probably wait a bit or just go for Marvel vs Capcom 3 because you will find it super cheap right now and most of the time with this collection unless you're willing to play Marvel vs Capcom 2 uh, it's gonna be hard to find matches so you're gonna be playing in training mode anyways and Marvel vs Capcom 3 is super fun like you will get a taste of the idea these games are very iterative each one seems to iterate on the prior and uh Marvel 3 is an absolutely amazing game. It's a lot more streamlined. It will give you that Marvel feel uh, that you probably um, are trying to look for. If you have enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment it helps the channel so much i will be leaving a link to the patreon discord twitter and twitch pages in the description thank you so much for watching and stay safe